been to the last two Kerfta games. Can't recall seeing it in either of them. Right, but there's something about the Bahamian bounce. The, now, the vibe. Women, it was in Kingston, Hubert. Can't recall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> On the 20 girls 1500 final coming up, Kaylee Ford, Trinidad and Tobago, Kishay Road, Jamaica, Akia Lightburn, Bahamas, Atoya Harvey, Guyana, Jasmine Mackey, Bahamas, Leila Haynes, Barbados, Batmeyer, Aruba, and Jody and Mitchell, Jamaica. Haynes, bronze last time. Harvey, a medalist in the 17, first and the 20 this year, and the fastest time on the clock for Mitchell for 29.42 for her high school uh, championships a week and a half ago so some some high row competitors here it's warm for distance running but we've seen where committed tactics can yield medal podium benefits in the last two races final of the under 20 girls 1500 meters it's a fine lineup Great storylines all round as they are sent on their way. Top competitors from the under-17 division last year stepping up into the under-20s. And the battle begins. Mitchell won the 800 under-20 last year. Uh, she too had an ankle trouble at school in Jamaica early this season. Uh, came back to win the... 1500 meters in 429.42. The record at that point belonged to Natoya Gould, who has the Carifta record at 427 here. The two Jamaicans on the inside, Kishay Rowe and Jodian Mitchell, Harvey of Guyana in the mix as well. One of the finds in Kingston last year. Guyana is good at all three distances 815 and 3000 and mitchell defending champion a little wrap on her knee not looking too comfortable to me as she comes through the first 300 meters two bohemians in the lineup as well jasmine mackey and uh, light they seem to enjoy running together no one's distinguishing themselves as a lead in this pack as yet Haynes of Barbados in this setup as well. And looking strong. Just has to be careful about all that traffic ahead of her. Kaylee Ford of Trinidad and Tobago. Got her opportunity at last at Carifta last year and took it, leaving with a medal. The last two races at this distance featured early breaks for the lead that got medals for those persons who took the courage. This place looks so slow that you're worried that you're going to have traffic. The field is small as Harvey, the Guyanese, just begins to edge around to take the lead. And 1500 final for under 20 girls. Atoya Harvey of Guyana with the lead. 445.75 last year. The season 455. Maybe she's going to peak on time like the races we've seen before. Kishay Row, 344. Outstanding 800 speed. The Perfect Trials champion in Jamaica, 800. And if they keep it this way, the speed kickers will have the advantage. They sure will. Under two laps to go in this one. The field still closely punched. Wow, what a tight pack. No one wants to hurt in this race. Row on the inside has the lead. Harvey second in the multicolored Guyana uniform. The Bahamians coming up on the outside. And uh, Layla Haynes from Barbados third last time. There and thereabouts. At some point, someone will have to go. Kishay Row has the lead. Atoya Harvey of Guyana is in there. The two Bahamians are in there as well. That's Lightburn and Mackey. And uh, Haynes 
Stepping up now for Barbados into the top four. Jody and Mitchell of Jamaica topped in on the inside. Kaylee Ford of Trinidad and Tobago in there as well as they come to the bell lap. Kishi Rose steps up the pace ever so slightly. Her countrywoman Jody and Mitchell goes with her as well. Kaylee Ford and the Toya Harvey Ford of Trinidad and Tobago. Harvey of Guyana. Also in the mix as well, Haynes of Barbados, the bronze medalist from a year ago. Down the back stretch. Kishay Row of Jamaica still with the lead. Haynes still looks full of running for Barbados in third. They've already won the under 17 girls, 1500 meters. Kishay Row of Jamaica leads. Jody and Mitchell is in second position. She usually finishes really fast, Jody and Mitchell, but it's Row who holds the advantage. Haynes goes in chase. She gets by Mitchell, who looks beaten. Rowe trying to hold on for the cold medal. Haynes looks full of sprinting. The Barbadian strikes gold. Back to back on the girls' side here at Carif to 50. Simmons to, a to Haynes, gold and gold. Third last year for Layla Haynes. Here she is on top of the podium, on top of the Caribbean. Big, big finish. Mitchell didn't look 100%. So wrap on her knee. Row great at 800. Her speed took her to the lead. But on top today is Haynes of Barbados with a, a fine finish. Out sprinted the Jamaicans and takes top spot. Beautifully timed performance from Haynes of Barbados. Kishay Row looked as if she had stolen a march on Mitchell and Haynes. Beautiful form down the home stretch for the Barbadian as she went in pursuit and flew by the Jamaican. A word for the wise if you have speed, but the 400 is not quite your thing. Move up to 8 and 15, it could be a champion like Layla Haynes. Came in with a 445 10, so. Tonight's performance well within her range. There and are times, Ricardo, when times don't matter, the medals matter the most, mm -hmm. and Haynes has the best medal of all today. 453.29, Kishay Row, 453.79, Jody and Mitchell, 455.99. Gold for Barbados, silver and bronze for Jamaica. Atoya Harvey out of the medals in fourth. Just first under 20. Her chance will come. 